am sure that neither death, no life, no angels, no rulers, no things present, no things to come, no powers, no height, no depth, no anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus.
Brigham and Women that is uh, Harvard University Hospital. So uh, she went there. Uh, my husband stayed with her until late in the evening. Then we also came back. Early morning, like, uh, uh, they should have had something that very much. Then they said they were not to increase the public levels, then they increased the public levels. Then Saturday she had surgery. She was talking, we were talking so well. She woke up, she was doing so well, she prepared it well. Then she was, she was asking us, what happened? What happened to my friend until I had surgery? So in the morning she then, I mean, she was doing well. She ate, she said it was okay. She stayed in hospital for like four days. Then she came back. Uh, then the family joined us. So she stayed, she, she remembered two weeks she was doing very well. Then Angela can join us that uh, we now they took her to the neurosurgeon for checking if it was still going on well. Everything just went well. Then after two weeks again, the results came. She had a, she went to see the primary care provider. So they told us to take her to Boston and they said the results are going to take her home to Boston so we went with her to come back to Boston. Uh, my husband told him, who's a thing of her? I went with them to Boston. So we went out to the same hospital uh, to the treatment. They, they weren't giving us any longer treatment. So she stayed there for a few days and then we came back home. When we came back home, she stayed like for two weeks. Um, then treatment elsewhere again. Then after those two weeks, we went back to hospital. I mean, she stayed home. She was weak. She was really feeling so, so, so weak. It's treated very quick. Uh, this time now, she was. The other skills were not very, very good again. Then we took her to hospital. When we took her to hospital, they changed. Um, the doctor said he was in good news. But 
At the same time, we prayed, we had the church members coming, we had that prayer with the family. Everyone who was concerned, the families, there was a lot of support that through the God. And I want to thank her, but she really had invited so much for her. Uh, she fought in the hospital there with her health workers and the doctors, and then eventually my health is arranged. Like two days to my job, they put out a uh, ventilator. When they put out the ventilator, that was, it, was, it was a very tough day, very tough time. But then it's still, they still wanted us, they still wanted us to release her. But they said, they're not going to let her go. They said, you have to let her go, release her. They said, no. The team that was there fought in the last hour. They said, you either release her or she suffers. That's what the white people say, suffer. It's not suffering. We said, we still respect the sanctity of life. We're not going to release her. They fought with us, they fought, we tried, the family tried so many things, they brought everything, they said, okay, whatever you brought, we are going to take to our lab and see if it's accepted in this country, they took the lab. But the family people fought for Ruth's life till the last hour. Even at the last hour, when the doctors were saying, release her, people say, no, she's not going. They said, release her. Uh, they, they were teasing us, I mean, they were like, intimidating us. If you don't release who tells that I'm an offender, she doesn't be suffering, you want her to suffer more, we said we respect the sanctity of life. We are not going to release you. Then we said, let life take its course. We had faith, we believed that Ruth was going to leave, people prayed for Ruth, but then on the 24th of uh, March, outside the village so we at uh, two o'clock the doctors now began preparing people and saying the levels are flowing everything is going down still didn't believe it they said you people are denying you have to accept the truth we still didn't believe everything comes uh, coming down down so we everyone was in hospital Carol was in hospital we had Harry we had Vanessa we had Jesse, we had my husband in hospital, we had Grace, we had Eva. Uh, I guess these were the people that were in the hospital when she was done. But Jesse had to make the last decision again. It was very tough for Jesse. We had to make a tough decision again. But then we left things to take their course, they took off, they told us to go out, they told us to go out, we didn't know what they were doing, we were all emotional, we went to the, you know, waiting for them, because it was very, 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 very tough time on our side. So also when they went to the room, midnight, they told us, and they, I could, I couldn't wait to see the next, I could not wait to see what was happening, I was, I became, yeah, so I live with Jesse, my husband, Eva, Carol, um, and Harriet. They were there. Jesse held his mother's hand. My husband was in the hospital there. Harriet was there. Eva was there. They were in at 2 20. That was the day she left. The idea is basically that's what happened. We have a lot that we have said that, but just because of the time we made it. Yeah, basically that's what happened. Thank you. At the same time, with the roof, we had a very, very wonderful time in Mercury. If you look at all our photos, you'll find Florence, Rosemary, uh, Malina. Please, Malina Susan. And Ruth, Ruth Tino, and Amero. It is a very, very terrible time to know that one of us has gone. I think in the group that was in Makera at the time, this is the first person we are married. And we are very disheartened. Oh, okay. They are reminding me that we buried Christina Lalo, the lady, the police lady that died in a, a 
Ethiopian airline crime crash at the time. Ruth was a very, very nice girl from the way I never had, but she was very quiet. In this group, I don't know who was the leader, but we always had fun. We left Makere without doubt, knowing we had enjoyed ourselves, and uh, we went to parties, we went, but we were very committed in class, because we knew that uh, we had a future to fulfill. So after we left university, um, Cecilia, the lady was just been speaking, and Ruth ended up in the US, and uh, for us we ended up in other, I went into government, and uh, some went into business. What do I want to say? Live your life in the first. Amen. Life is very, very short. We are all made 50, I think. We all are made 50. My, some of my brothers, they are Joseph and Yantu, Amoriat are in their mid or get to 60. And, and I'm saying, enjoy your life. I've looked at most of my friends, people are all brain. Time is too short. Amen. The word of God in the book of Romans chapter 8 says, what then can we say? Who can separate us from the love of Christ? Not distress, not death, nothing can separate us. God loves us so much. If you happen to live your life between 20 and 40, it is time for you. 50. Okay. She said 50. <laughs> for me, I turned my life around. I became a pastor. I, I, I've been telling them you guys, let's go to Jesus. Some of them are saying, Pastor, I was so tired. Pastor, I've been this. But some of them yesterday told me, now we are here. I think we are here. Amen. We, we, we want to go for that party in heaven. What am I telling to our mourners, our brothers, sons, please be steadfast in the Lord. Love Jesus with all that you have. Give God time. Thank you. 
because we do not wish to be unclothed, but to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Now the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God, who has given us the Spirit as a and know that as long as we live, as long as we are at home in the garden, we are away from the Lord. For we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home in the Lord. So we make it our goal to please Him, whether we are at home in the body or away from it. But we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due to us, what is due for us, and for the things done by the body, whether good or bad. Father, we bless you for your word. We thank you, Lord, that uh, you are the reason why we are here. We sit here not as people without hope, but we are full of hope. We are not hopeless. We have hope in you because you are hope of glory. And Heavenly Father, we pray that you minister to us and speak that message of hope to us. That as we share, we will understand that death does not end at the grave. Life does not end at the grave. Father, we pray to help us to understand that this is the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Allow me to share just a few minutes before we have the final prayer. Then we'll be out of here. We we are told from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians in chapter 5. Referring to the body as a tent. The body is not referred to as a mansion. The body is referred to as a tent. You know, tents are temporary. Um, and I think this is very intentional. Tents are not permanent in the place. And even those who have put tents to make sure they are well decorated. I know uh, places where tents you find even uh, um, farms and very wonderful chairs, but the text remains a text with the picture, with the message of indicating to us that it is not common. And while Paul is talking to the Corinthians, he says very clearly like in verse 1 that for we know that if after the text, that if the after the text believing is destroyed, we have a building from God. Now the tent, the other tent, and then the building from God. It means this building from God is a permanent one. It cannot be destroyed, it's not temporal. But the earthly bodies, the bodies you have, these are tents. They are here for a short time. It does not matter how many years you live, the body still remains a tent. We glorify God because these tents will not go to heaven. Otherwise, many of us would be asking God, why did you give me a small tent? Why did you give me a short tent? Why did you give me a big tent, a tall tent? Why, God? Why did you allow my tent to be born from the other village? Why, God? Let me tell you, friends, that the grave where these tents are laid to rest. That is a place for tents. And uh, sometimes you hear people say, we are going to take this person or take their resting place. Let me tell you, the grave where Tina will be buried is not her resting place. No, she's not actually going to be that brave. You are taking the tent there. Tino is not in the tent anymore. The tent has been left to rot. 
because after all it came from the dust and dust it is returning. So I want to tell you friends that those of you who are here, it is upon you to make, to make sure that uh, you do not after a rest in the grave. Because a grave is not your resting place. The grave is not your resting place, the grave, the grave is not your dead destiny. Man has been created, woman has been created to live with God in eternity forever. That's the message to read scripture. To live with God in eternity forever. And your eternity is not in the grave. And what is very clear from this text is that the natural body will return to dust. Why? Because the natural body does not inherit the kingdom of God. That is why it returns like the Lord. The spirit of God, the spirit of God is transformed. And this is the heavenly body that God is referring to, which cannot be destroyed. This heavenly body can't be destroyed. Why? Because it is not of flesh and blood. It can't be destroyed. Even when someone wants to kill him, they are killing the tent. They are destroying the tent. They are not killing that heavenly purity that the Lord has put, here, has put upon you. Friends, the spirit of God is so special. Because that spirit of God is the God that will inherit the kingdom of heaven. And that kingdom of heaven is an experience that we must, all of us, have while on the side of eternity. We experience it while on earth. Let me tell you, you never make a decision to be transformed when you have died. You make a decision while you are still here. You make a decision for you to cross over from death to life while you are still here. Friends, we are having this life that God has given us on earth. Some will live for 50 years, others will live for 70. There are those who live for 15 years. It does not matter how many years you live. What matters is the decision you make while you live. The decision you make while you live determines your destiny. Whether the Lord forever to your information, even those who have not said yes to Christ, their destiny is not the grave. Their destiny is eternal condemnation. So in other words, whether you go to God or the Lord in the grave, you will be judged. You will be judged. And your destiny is clear, eternal condemnation. There isn't any shortcut to heaven other than going through our Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven has no focus. When we were still young, we used to look at these places where they would have this for homes to go through the papyrus and months to enter. You find your feelings, you go there and you inside. Once you are inside, you want to go to God for you to watch what is happening inside. But there is no hope in heaven. Jesus is the only way, the way, the truth, and the life. No one knows the Father except through Him. They are not focused in heaven. No. And the only way you can ensure your life with Jesus Christ is by saying yes to Him. Because He has life. He gives life. And uh, allow me to tell you this, friends, that while we say farewell, the remains, not the children, the remains of children, the same trial of the remains. It will be very important for you to know that on that day when I say the prayer, the fresh, I will see the Lord. I committed my life to Christ. I will see the life. Amen? Amen. You know, it's possible to be with fresh and blood, but you are like a robot. Robots have no life. They are human beings who are like robots. Because they are lifeless. If you have not Jesus Christ in life, you, you, you have no life actually. You are, you, you are moving, they see you walking, but you are just 
Naturally, okay, you have no right. You are still that tent. You are still that fresh and blood. But he who has the son of God has life. Because Jesus himself is life. Amen. Because he says, I am the way, the truth, and life. He's not saying one of the ways. No, I am the way. So we will study in English. He says, I am the way, not one of the ways. He is the truth, is not one of the truths. And he is the life, is not one of those that live life. He is the life himself. How I ask and pray that God today will choose to have you eternal life, eternal life, that you will make that decision why you live. Let me tell you, life is so deceptive. Life is so deceptive. You know? When you look at yourself and the energy you have, you think you are here. No, you are not. Whether you are poor or poor or strong, even mighty people go very deceptive. Very deceptive. All is seeking sun. Seeking sun. We bless the Lord that He has still given us time to breathe. He has given us time to breathe. Why do you need just to do it? The writer of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 12 says, There is nothing better for people than to be happy and do good while they live. Be happy and do good while you live. There is the word why. It means you have a timeline. While you live, be happy and do good. And you can never be happy when you have no life. You can never do good until you have no life. I will buy a prayer that should be able to be successful. Sometimes we try to get good treatment. We try to look for very good specialists, very good doctors. We have tried. And the season of COVID Lord has taught us a lesson. When we plan to not even leave airports, big cars parked in the garage. People walking on foot in their own houses. Vanity. Vanity after vanity. How we pray that you teach us, Lord, to number our days. Teach us, Lord, to number our days. That we will live wisely inside of eternity. That we will not chase after wind. Father, we have tried to chase after the wind by killing one another. We have tried to chase after the wind by stealing every other thing. Some of us have left, but we have stolen behind. We moved on in the castles, moved on with the judgment of us. Help us all to be wise inside of the time. Our great heavenly Father. That all of us here one day will meet Jimmy in glory. How I pray that the fact that the season we make while we live will be meaningful to us. Grant us, Lord, the wisdom and the grace of Jesus Christ, the time that is left here on earth for us. Lead us, Lord, to repent of our sins. The evil we have done and the good we have not done. Strengthen us to follow the steps of your son in the way that leads the fullness of eternal life. And merciful Father and wonderful life, we praise you and thank you that all people are made in your image and reflect that you are truth and light. We thank you for the life of your servant, Namaru, you know. For the love and mercy you show to me. Show the man as special the members of her family, dear husband, family, children, son. Above all, we rejoice at the precious cross. To all your servants living and departed, that we shall rise again to the coming of Christ. Because the grave is not in the end. We ask that in time we may share with our dear sister 
that clear vision when you shall see your face in the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I pray for you as you need this place. May the Lord watch over you as you travel sorority. May the Lord hear the way for you. May the Lord continue to make you fix your eyes on you. Pray for the family here. May the Lord give you hope. May the Lord speak a message of hope during this season. That you won't see your mom, your wife, your sister, your friend in the grave. You see how you pray. Where she is promoted. How are you praying? That as you travel, you will smile at the storm of life. Because he who came, he died and went there before us, and he overcame the powers of death. The one that God says, Where is this sting? Where is the sting or death? For death has been swallowed in victory with the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now I pray that the peace of God who surpasses all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of God and the love of God. And of the Son of Jesus Christ, our Lord, may the blessing of God Almighty, the blessing that adds no sorrow, the blessing that makes rich, the blessing that brings comfort, that blessing of the Son of the Holy Spirit, be with you. That blessing be upon your families. That blessing be upon the dear husband, the dear son, the siblings that are here. Relatives and friends who are here, others and so May that blessing remain with us all. 